Hi, Joe. Hi. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. Um, I, you know, I, I've known Bowen for a couple of years. Um, you know, I'm right now taking care of family, so I'm not by your side, but because of this bloody COVID. But I'm really proud of Bowen. This is someone who's home office. Uh, her office, she has a play area for kids. This is someone who is very cunning and very smart and takes transit and safe translink from dying from COVID-19, by the way. We should be talking about that and not what she wears all the time. I mean, Jane okay, Fortway, th- as far as I'm concerned, is a non-entity. Thanks for the call. Here's one thing I'll say about it. First time I saw her speaking in the legislature, I had one of those moments where I thought, this person's going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember feeling that way with uh, Gregor Robertson. First time I saw him speaking in the House, he ended up mayor of Vancouver. Christy Clark, I thought she's going somewhere. She ended up premier. I felt the same way about Bowen Ma. She's yep. very talented. She's going somewhere. She's very smart. Yeah, no question. I've had her pegged as a cabinet material right from the get-go. I mean, she's and she's also a, sort of a new type of politician. I mean, she is the youngest in the House. Yeah. She does things differently. She's very active on social media. She's very effective in her communications. The, the caller talked about her taking transit all the time, and, and she's very much grounded in her community. Keith. Right? I mean, Andrew Wilkinson was there. He ha- is yet to surface and answer questions, and Bowen Moss, smartly, trained her spotlight today on, on Andrew Wilkinson. On to Jane. Andrew Wilkinson as party leader. I think Andrew Wilkinson has a lot to answer for in terms of what he feels is acceptable within his caucus. And I question whether a man who is unable to set the tone of his political party in terms of respect for women is able to set a tone for British Columbia.